Take off, Commander. With winds calm over California's high desert, Phantom Ray took its position at Edwards Air Force Base for its first flight. The unmanned technology demonstrator, unveiled last May by Boeing's Phantom Works organization, was built by Boeing under a rapid prototyping initiative. Rolling down the runway, the fighter-sized aircraft with its 50-foot wingspan lifted off the desert strip at 9.05 a.m. Pacific for the 17-minute flight. Going from blueprint to blue skies in just two and a half years. It's one of the most amazing things I've ever been a part of. It's just, you know, heart pounding. We just, we're just so proud, just beaming with pride. Phantom Ray's historic trip from St. Louis, Missouri, where it was built, to Edwards Air Force Base in December mirrored its innovations as it arrived atop a modified Boeing 747 that usually carries NASA's space shuttle. Its successful taxi tests and now first flight helped pave the way for the future of Boeing's full array of unmanned airborne systems. It's uh, proving out some of our rapid prototyping capabilities, which are important for future competitiveness. Uh, it also is a, a technology test bed, various kinds of payloads and materials and capabilities. And with that kind of flexibility, we can really test out new technologies, uh, get experience flying them, and use them to develop future products. Like a phantom over the desert, the pilotless aircraft's GEF-404 engine pushed the autonomous jet to an altitude of 7,500 feet. Smoothly banking, its computerized precision flight plan guided the aircraft over the desolate landscape below. Phantom Ray technology is designed to one day support a full spectrum of missions. It could be used for electronic warfare, electronic attack, uh, intelligence surveillance, reconnaissance type missions. On its final approach, and after a pinpoint landing, Phantom Ray proved it's on course as an advanced technology demonstrator and a key player in the future of unmanned flight.